We're now ready for Ming Zhao. Okay, the cat sleeps in a ball. An elephant's legs look like posts, pillars, columns. The dragon's wings are horizontal to the ground. And a bird stands with its legs at a weird angle. Okay, time to face Ming. Yeah, knowing how she behaves if we side with her, yeah, I'm not taking any of this to heart. Yeah, whatever is a perfect answer. Okay, I would like to... Yeah, go ahead and get suited up, but I can't. Once again, I can't arm myself while the animation is going. So, that's just a thing that happens. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this the fast, slow way of hit K, bring up fortitude and presence. Yep, now we've got it. Okay, now we'll just sit here and just fire away. Do I want... yeah, blood heal. I'll hit blood heal so there's no question. I'm going to hit her with the flamethrower and just see how that goes. It doesn't do all that much. I could hit her with bursts of this. It does seem to stun her, but maybe presence got her. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm just going to empty out a couple of canisters. She's at... Almost half health. There's my third canister. Yep, okay. Three canisters took her to half health. That's fine. We'll try the Uzi. See if that's more successful. Because it has a faster rate of fire. And I want Fortitude up before I do this. Yeah, the Uzi works fine. Yeah, one of the shots did 21 damage. That's nice. Six and seven damage. So, okay, about 32 rounds. I have Presence and Fortitude up. We're in great shape. Yeah, the Uzi's killing her just fine. Yeah, and she didn't spawn off a little a little Ming Zhao. So, yeah, I don't know why. She she didn't spawn off. I expected the little annoying thing to spawn off. Uh, no little Mings. So, I, is that a change? Okay, we have 26 points. Probably could have gotten presents. Could I have gotten presents up to the fifth point? I didn't need it. But, uh, yeah, we can take that to the fifth point. So we now have five points in presence, five points in fortitude, complete success, and now we're going to go uh, load up with ammo and blood for the for the last part of the game. Okay, I need blood. I need weapons. Yeah. Okay, we have $2,600. That's more than enough.
Yeah, and really, um, you get a ton of 44 ammo in this quest. Um, probably, I don't think I use any of these. I, any of the 308. I, I don't think I use the sniper rifle. Um, what I really should have brought was actually the dragon's breath. In hindsight, I think the dragon's breath is what you need in this quest. Um, two sniper rifles, I, I don't think I use either one of them. Uh, certainly I could have gotten rid of one. There's so much 44 ammo in this game, maybe bringing the 44 is a good idea. You want to bring the AUG and the Uzi. Um, oddly, the flamethrower was not particularly useful here, but I would still bring it. Um, yeah, I'd get rid of one of the sniper rifles and bring the Dragon's Breath. And we still have $2,000. So... Yeah, five points in Haggle, and we had plenty of money. Yeah, I just, I used one blood pack, so we have to buy a blood pack. Yeah, I thought I used a blue blood pack in the last uh, fight, but I used just a regular one. But when I was here, I was thinking I used a, a a blue blood pack. And it, yeah, just that one, $79. That's what we have to spend. So that's it. No more spending. So where do we go now? Back to the Haven. Okay, I'm going to check out all my weapons, reconsider them, make sure they're all loaded. Like, this one doesn't have a round in the chamber. I might need one. Turns out, I don't. I don't think I use this weapon at all. Um, yeah, make sure everybody's loaded. And especially this guy, because... Um, you can have three canisters with this thing um, if you go back and see Mercurio. But but the weapon has to be loaded. That's the only way. like you have one canister loaded and then uh, you buy two more. So don't open it, a friend. Okay. That sounds like Beckett. Yeah. I've, I've really enjoyed this playthrough, and this is the last time I'm going to see my Haven. Um, yeah, it's just... Yeah, I just took a moment just to enjoy it. This actually went, this playthrough went really fast, and it's like I, it feels like I hardly got time to enjoy my haven or just being in, you know, the different places. There I bought the third canister. We still have $1,800. So, yeah, that worked out perfectly. We have five perks in Fortitude and Presence. We have 10 ranged, 12 combat armor, um, combat defense. Yeah, this this went just incredibly well. Yeah, but it 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 feels like the game like it took so much longer to make these videos than it did to play the game. The game went by really fast. And yeah, in this in this one session of play, I just rocketed through um, like Giovanni Mansion all the way to the final boss fight in a few hours, and it was just great fun. And there was a moment where I just was like, I don't want the game to be over, but that's kind of what happens every time I play Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines. Such a good game, and it's about to be over. One more quest, one more boss fight, and that's it. Thanks for watching.